we already know derivative of the gives the rate of change of a function okay so in this section uh, we will look at some examples where we make use of that uh, idea okay suppose function f of t give the position of an object at time t okay in this case velocity v is given by the first derivative of this x of t with respect to t okay so we can denote it by ds over dt or by s dash t then the acceleration a t at time t is given by the first derivative of the derivative derivative of velocity or by the second derivative of the position okay velocity is the rate of change of the position and acceleration is the rate of change of velocity okay also the absolute value of velocity gives the speed okay so this idea thing implement the idea of the re, uh, rate of change of derivative no derivative is the rate of change of the function so these definitions hold okay now let's look look at an example okay so here we have an object moving along a straight line okay and its position with respect to origin o is given by this function okay at time t position at time t okay, we are supposed to find initial position velocity and acceleration for the object times where the object is station stationary and intervals where object is advancing that is moving away from the origin or object is retracting that is coming towards the origin before moving into these parts first we will let's find the velocity at time t and acceleration at time t okay we already know the position at time t is given by st so to find the velocity at time t where simply we have to differentiate this with respect to t no differentiate the position s respect to t okay so differentiate position is cos plus t 2 times cos t 2 times sin t minus 2 i am differentiating it with respect to time t okay so when i differentiate here i can use the sum rule first and get the individual differentiate and pull out these two out of the derivative no so here I only have to differentiate the cos term which is a negative sign 2 okay so here I put that negative sign 2 and differentiation of sign is just cos so here I get a 2 cos t it comes here and the derivative of constant along is 0 no? so the derivative of 2 is 0 so this is the velocity at time t okay now I need acceleration at time t okay so to get the acceleration we differentiate the velocity okay we differentiate the velocity with respect to t okay so again here derivative of cos becomes negative sign and the derivative of sign become cos so both will have a negative sign now okay so this is the acceleration okay May here i got an additional negative because derivative of cos is sign but derivative sign is just cost okay and this ne negative sign remain here okay so as soon as we know the position velocity and acceleration we have everything that we need to analyze the motion of this object okay let's jump into part a okay and let's carry the previous computations to this part okay and we are asked to find the initial position velocity and the acceleration okay unless it's specified otherwise we always start the motion with time t equals zero no so to find the initial value we simply have to plug in c equals zero for each uh, function okay so s equals zero we get cos 2 cos 0 plus 2 sine 0 minus 2 so sine 0 is 0 so this term will go away cos 0 is 1 no so 1 times 2 is 2 2 minus 2 is 0 
then initial velocity then initial velocity is given by v0 now we plugging in t0 for this vt so again i get cos 0 and 2 sin 0 now here sin 0 is 0 it goes away again cos 0 1 2 times 1 we get a 2 so the initial velocity is 2 okay and acceleration we are plugging in 0 for a no so again here sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 here there is a negative 2 no so this becomes negative 2 so initial acceleration is negative 2 okay so this is here they haven't given the time unit or the uh, distance what uh, unit of distance okay so if it's like meters or and second it will be ms minus 1 no this velocity that second distance you travel for second okay uh, this question doesn't specify any un uh, units okay so for example if this distance was measured in meters and the time was in second velocity will be meters per second no here we don't worry about the limit units because they haven't specified the units in the problem okay find the times where object is stationary okay in part b they ask us to find the points where object is stationary okay we know that object is stationary in the instance where the velocity is zero no because if there is non-zero velocity object will be moving with that velocity okay so object is stationary if the velocity is zero okay so what we have to do is find the times where velocity is zero okay, we can simply find those times by solving the equation setting the velocity to zero and solving the resulting equation okay so we set velocity to zero so velocity is given by this guy ne? 2 cos t plus sin this is a trigonometric equation okay so if we can write everything in one uh, trig function we know how to solve them no what uh, that means in sine cos or tan any one trick functions we can uh, we know how to solve it okay so we'll try to get one trick function we can do it by first moving this cos t to the other side and then divide by negative 2 so we get sine t equals cos t okay now we can see uh, when solutions of this equation we cannot have a t cos t zero no because cos t is zero we know sine t will become one then they are not equal so we can assume now cos t is not equal to zero so then we can divide by cos t both side this side when i divide by cos t i get a one here i get a tan t okay now I know how to solve this using the general solution for tan. No, Th this is pi over t, pi over four. When tan is pi over four, t is pi over four. Tan becomes one. No, so writing the general solution, we get n pi plus pi over three, and n is a integer. No, here we in the general solution we will get negative and positive integers, but time t have to be positive. No, so because of that I can drop the negative integers okay so zero is allowed so these are the moments where this ob t values where this object will, will become stationary find the time interval where object is advancing okay in time interval 0 pi 2 pi here we are restricting our discussion to just what happened in the time interval from 0 to 2 pi here inside that interval we have to decide where object is advancing okay so what we mean by object is advancing is object is going away from the origin okay if it's coming towards origin we say retracting if it's going away from object is we call it advancing okay so here let us try to understand what situation is the point advancing how can we tell okay 
we already know the po ST position function, velocity function and acceleration function. We have to use those and try to dis uh, describe advancing. Now uh, let's look at this object it's on the origin origin is the zero point okay so this side is positive side no this right hand side is positive values of zero and left hand side we have the negative values okay and we know our object is at origin zero point in the start of the motion okay now if you think of this motion up to now what is going away from the origin and it's in positive side and it's mo moving towards further positive so its velocity also in the positive side so it has a positive velocity no okay so in the positive side if velocity is positive we can see it's advancing moving away from the object okay but if velocity becomes negative what happens now it's moving this side direction that means negative velocity no then it's retracting so if my object is in the positive side that means s of t is positive velocity have to be positive also that means vt is positive so st is positive and vt is positive then object is advancing okay if st is positive and vt is negative object is retracting no okay now let's and go and see what happens in the negative direction now you can see it's advancing no going away from the object uh, origin okay but you can see it's in the negative direction also it's moving to the left side further negative side so here velocity is negative okay so in the negative side that means if the position vector uh, function is negative then velocity also have to be negative to advance okay see here it keep advancing and now it's retracting no now it has a positive velocity because it's going toward this positive numbers and now it's retracting okay so we already have established what we mean by advancing no so uh, for we consider object is advancing when st is positive if the velocity is also positive and when velo position is negative and also velocity is negative no so here to find that we need to know the sign of st and vt in through uh, vt no so to identify these intervals we use a uh, common procedure what we call a sign chart okay you might have seen it before also you will see in this course few uh, several locations okay so to make this sign chart first we do we have to find where the function becomes zero okay so first we'll do the sign task for st position we need to find where the position becomes zero okay so to identify that we have to show the equation st equals zero okay so the x st is given in the problem by as 2 cos t plus 2 times t minus 2 okay so we have to solve this trigonometric equation so when solving a trigonometric equation if we can get it down to one trig function it always easy no okay so to get this to one trick function i'm going to use several steps you'll see why i did that at the end okay so first i'm going to move these two to the other side okay so to move these two to the other side okay now i'm going to divide everything by two okay now then i'm going to multiply this every term in 20 by 1 over root square root of 2 okay now this one i can write as cos or sine pi over 4 also this one i can write as cos or sine pi over 4 okay 
so I will write this one as cos pi over 4 and this one as a sine pi over 4 okay so if I write it like that I can see this this is the some formula for sine okay you can see that sine alpha plus beta sine alpha beta cos alpha beta here I can identify this equation with that one where alpha is t and beta is pi over 4 okay so the given side is the right hand side of the equation with alpha t and beta pi over 4 I can use the reverse by you I can use the formula in reverse by replacing this term by sine alpha plus beta that means t plus pi over 4 no? now I have everything in sine so now to solve this I need to know what value of uh, what, va what value is going to give me a 1 over root 2 what sine values no? so I know sine pi over 4 gives 1 over root 2 okay? and pi pi over, sorry pi minus pi over 4 also give okay root 2 that is 3 pi over 4 okay so I can write t plus pi over 4 pi over 4 plus 2n pi no any 2n pi value also will give me this one here 2n pi plus 3 pi over 4 okay because also 3 pi over 4 gives this value now I can easily isolate t and the get the solutions 2n pi and 2n pi plus pi over 2 but this time we are looking for solutions only in 0 to 2 pi interval uh, therefore I can identify the values by plugging in n okay so the first one I can get 0 by as plugging in n 0 and a 2 pi by plugging in n 1 and this one I can only get the pi over 2 by plucking n0 okay because I am staying inside this 0 to 2 pi region okay okay let's move on to the next step so here we mark the solutions in a number line okay so we had 0 pi over 2 and 2 pi now we are going to try to find the sine of this st position function on this 0 to pi over 2 and pi over 2 over 2 to 2 pi intervals okay we are only interested in 0 to 2 pi so before 0 and after 2 pi I will ignore okay so to find the sign we are going to do this okay so each from each of these intervals we have to pick a test value okay so first interval is going from 0 to pi over 2 next one pi over 2 to 2 pi no so here from inside the each of this interval we have to pick a value okay so you can choose any value between c from between 0 and pi over 2 here i'll pick pi over 4 for first interval no it's pi over 4 is between these two and then from interval pi over 2 to 2 pi I will pick 5 pi over 4 okay N now when I say any value any value you can calculate these things no sine and cos without a calculator so I pick these two okay so if you plugging in this uh, this pi over 4 to this st function you get a plus positive one we are interested only the sign so I will mark it positive if I use pi over 4 and here I'll get a negative one okay so I write negative now here for one value is positive then the all interval it's going to stay positive if the representative value positive all the interval this will stay positive the reason is because of the intermediate value theorem okay because be, this is a continuous function so if it's positive it have to go to negative through this through a zero point no without becoming negative uh, zero it cannot move to the negative okay so because of that he will get stuck here all the 
positive in the positive value among the, uh, along the positive values only it can go to negative 2 pi over 2 or this 0 because at those point function is 0 no so because of that I can say whole interval is positive and again here it's negative for our test value then for whole interval function will stay negative because again going from negative to positive we have to cross a zero but only available zeros are at this end points no so it cannot move to positive inside this interval okay so this is what we mean okay each interval so if the test value positive it's positive for all the interval okay so th because pi over 4 was positive and the function will stay positive all this interval and pi o, 5 pi over 4 when you plugging in here got negative so all the this thing it will stay negative okay so you have to plug in the value and check the sign okay so if I pl plug 5 over 4 this becomes positive so all of that interval positive if I plug 5 pi over 4 to this it's negative because of that all this interval negative okay we are only interested between 0 to 2 pi ok now let's move into velocity ok now we will have to find vt sign ok velocity ok so for that again first we have to find the points where velocity is 0 we already did that in part b so I can directly bring that solution here okay but this time we are only interested in point between 0 and 2 pi no so from this when I put n equals 0 I get a pi over 4 when I put n equals 1 I get 5 pi over 4 okay so I'll mark these two on number line other values go outside of our 0 and 2 pi okay so here this is the 0 and this is the 2 pi I included those because we are ignoring values before that and values after that okay between 0 to 2 pi only accept only solutions from this one are pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4 okay so now again I will pick a test value from each interval okay so we, this time I will direct list the table so here from this 0 to pi pi over 4 this time I included also 0 because it's not a 0 point okay so from this one I can get a value I get pi over 6 no and from this interval I need a value I'll take pi okay you can pick any value between these two I picked pi here then last from this interval to 2 pi I will pick 3 pi over 2 okay now we need to plug in each of these value to this uh, vt and take the signs okay from this one i get a plus so here i get a plus next one negative and this one plus okay we are only interested in these intervals be below before zero and after two pi i am not worried okay so uh, again all interval take the value of the test value okay so because here I got a plus all of this interval becomes plus all of this interval become negative and all of this interval become plus okay so now I know HT and VT so to identify the advanced thing and now I can go and identify the point intervals where the, this one advanced okay here we have the sign chart so ST and VT now we can identify where the object is advancing okay so we know object is advancing when position and the velocity have the same sign no here position is positive and velocity is positive and position is negative and velocity is negative okay so by the looking at this chart i can see this one is positive from 0 to pi over 2 but this one only from 0 to pi over 4 but that means both of them are positive 0 to pi over 4 okay so first interval where the object is advancing this guy no 0 to pi over 4 
then if I look at this one, this guy is positive negative from pi over 4 to 5 pi over 4. This one is negative pi over 2 to 2 pi. So both of them are negative on pi over 2 to 5 pi over 2. No? Okay. Also now we we'll, let's go and look for the points where object is retracting. So object retract if it has opposite sign. Okay, that means the position and the velocity have opposite signs. Okay, so we'll go ahead and look. ST is positive and VT is negative, and ST is negative and VT is positive. So again, if I check here this one is positive on 0 to pi over 2 here pi over 4 to pi over 2 is negative no so this is positive and this is negative in that pi over 2 pi over 4 to pi over 2 so you get one interval there object retracting other one is 5 pi over 2 2 5 no may here this guy positive here that part this guy negative okay so we completely found where it's advancing and where it's retracting and now this video is showing you the movement of the point from 0 to 2 pi.